Welcome to Entonal Sessions. In this video, I'm going to take you through loading Entonal Studio into Bitwig and uh, just through a set, basic setup and trying out a few different scales and uh, a, way, a way of discovering how different scales uh, can sound with the same sequence. So I'm going to activate the audio engine. This is a fresh Bitwig project and got an instrument track and I'm going to load Intonal Studio onto it. So, searching for Intonal. Now, it says here, show one redundant plugins. I'm going to click that and that's going to show me two versions. The first one uh, is VST3 and clicking show redundant plugins reveals the VST2 version. That's the one I'm going to load. And I'll tell you why in a minute. Okay, so here we are. We've, we've got the, the default uh, uh, Intonal Studio with the default preset scale loaded in settings. Um, so it's, it defaults to its internal simple synth. Okay, first thing I'm going to do, so we've got something to play with, is, is I'm just going to create a little sequence. So double click there, get my clip ready. Close this window for the moment. So you'll notice these look a bit different to what you might be used to. So that is why I choose the VST2 version. So I'm just gonna, just a sort of semi-random sequence here. So, oh, we've got another bar. Let's hear how that sounds. Let's set loop on. A bit fast, slow it down. Let's add another note. So, okay, I'm going to quickly add a reverb here. So, I'm going to use the Bitwig built in reverb, and there's a preset I really like. It's called Shimmer Verb. Let's load that up. Just add some extra harmonics following the, the, uh, the sound yeah yeah it's really eerie I like that okay let's let's try some different scales so I'm gonna so at the moment there's only four presets there's there's more presets coming very soon this is the seven limit hexany Pythagorean 12 tone, it's quite similar to 12 tone equal temperament. Part the Harry Parch 43 tone scale. Eerie because we've got notes very close together because it's such a big scale. So it's actually designed, this scale is designed to use subsets of the scale. Now uh, I'm going to load up our user section here and what I've got here is a set of scales kindly uh, given to us by Sevish. Um, shout out to Sevish for providing all these amazing scales for us to try out. Um, these are going to be uh, part of the presets in, uh, in one of the next updates so watch out for these. So I'm going to just I'm just going to step through these and hear how they sound with this sequence we've got going on. So that one has got um, the white keys off, so let's put them on. And let's just see what these scales look like here then, in terms of the ratios. It's a very interesting scale. 
it actually the 21 over 14 is um, actually uh, the perfect it's one 1.5 equivalent to the perfect fifth it's equivalent to 3 over 2 um, I'm gonna before we move on to more scales I'm just gonna quickly adjust the sound make it a bit more plucky and increase the tone a bit that's better a bit more harmonics coming out in the sound all right let's 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 try a few more so again black keys off Oh yes, I'm going to switch back to our sequence, that's my ti That's my 10 minute timer, I'm going to carry on. Uh, <laughs> so here we can see, we can see all the intervals in our sequence. You can see whenever I change the scale it updates here in your door, in the piano roll. Blackwood 10. This is a really interesting scale that I, I would like to do a video on on by itself. It's got some very interesting properties. This one, I love the scale. This is just like, it's like whatever you do with it, just sounds beautiful. It's really consonant. I might come back to that, the Olympus Pentatonic. So here we've got our black keys off. Let's put them back in. So yeah, normally I would, if I was like to, composing for a particular scale with the black keys off, obviously I'd, I'd be playing with the keyboard and not uh, bothering with the black keys. But because I've drawn it in, it's kind of easier to do it with the black keys in. Um, so that's why. I'm switching those scales without black keys to black keys on. Let's get back here. Oh well, nine. So this one, I'm just going back to this one because I wanted to have a look at how it looks. So this is a subset of 22 EDO called Porcupine. Let's go to Mavilla 7. That one's almost consonant, it's a subset of a 16 EDO. Uh, this is quite a, this this one feels like a sort of spiral even with that with the the missing notes there even there it sounds quite oriental kind of sound So let's have a look at that. So those two are quite close together. It sounds a bit like possibly a bit less than a yeah, less than a semitone. So when they're sound, you can hear like that here from there to there. It's, you can hear it's a different note, but it's less than a semitone. It's an interesting effect that. Okay, that's the tri triadic seven note just intonation scale formed from three ultra minor triads. Semaphore nine. So this is a five equal scale, five video, except each note has 
is paired up with one uh, 20 cents apart. So just give some sort of chorusy shimmer effect. So here's one scale based on the golden proportion. So it repeats at the acoustic phi with the inner intervals using the golden proportion. Makes me think I should put a button here to switch black keys on and off in this view as well. That's really eerie with that sequence, huh? Lots of quite, quite close intervals. And the last one's called Machine 6. It's almost consonant, just a bit off key that one. Well, I'm gonna go back to uh, the Olympus Pentatonic. Yeah, like that one. Oh yeah, I think I'm gonna make a track with that one. That'll be in the next video. All right. Thanks for watching.